I'm loving the suits, honestly. I just wish we were able to dress like this all the time back in the day. What are they called? Because I would be Thomas. rocking that shit. Thomas Angelo, sir. Frank told me you ran into some trouble? Yes, sir. My cab got smashed up pretty good. Morello's thugs went after him by the kind of Tommy helping us. This, uh, taxi, that's your livelihood? Yes, sir. I feel a sense of responsibility here. So I'm going to set you up with a small loan. I'm not going to oh. get that cab of yours fixed up. Damn, a small loan? I appreciate that, sir, but I'm not looking for a handout. It's a loan. It's not a handout. And what are we doing here? I just want a shot at the bastards who wrecked my cab. <laughs> you hear that, Frank? The kid wants my permission to get into a fight. Yes, I heard. Okay, Tommy Angelo. All the Morellas girls hang out at a bar he owns. Paul, you know the place. Sure do, boss. Good. You can ride along with Tommy. There's a lot right next to the bar where they park their cars. Go smash up a few tin cans, send Morello a message. He can't rough up hard-working Joes in my neighborhood without getting a black eye. Thank you, Mr. Salieri. I won't let you down. Did he just indirectly signed himself up for a job? Hey, Tommy, when you get back, we'll talk about what's next for you. Yeah, he, he got the job. He got the job as soon as he's... No one else knows you here. ...successful at doing careful. this. Okay? Sure. Crazy. Nah, you got more time to sit on This your is Lover of Ladies, and like my video, watch my well, video, I mean, share it, nah, definitely put that. some comments in, because I just love talking to you guys, and most importantly, subscribe to my channel, please, that way you can see daily gaming contact from me. Let me see what this is. Don Soleri. I am writing to let you know of my joy to hear that you will be attending the wedding of my daughter. Please, if there are any further arrangements you would wish for, let me know. It would be a wonderful day, and for the world to see that the occasion has your blessing, you will make it even more special and memorable. Your loyal friend, Giovanni Romano. I don't get what his problem is with me. Find anything good? What do you think I gotta do to... Yeah, I... You think you shouldn't ask I'm watching you. Not give a good answer. I get it. Anyways, Why are you pointing at me, bro? Okay, come through this way. I'll take it of any first. You're good with Paul. He's a loud mouth. But that but don't Frank mean you're good with me or anyone forever. else. What's he do? We go see him whenever we need to do a uh, heavy lifting. Like we make sure we're well healed for when there's trouble. Sounds grateful for your business. So I'm following Vincenzo. Okay. I'm hearing someone talking about dinner. I wonder what they're gonna eat. Oh, she's gonna sing. <laughs> Who's this then? Vinny. This here's Tommy Angelo. We're doing a little job together. All right, good, good. Hey. You just need bean shooters or ruts? Nah, we just need something to write off a few cars. Huh. Oh, I got just the thing. What? What is it? This classic should do the trick! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Hey, if the bat don't work out for use, I got a few cocktails here. I, oh, I, I, a I cocktail party. Enough. Don't want to burn off your short ears. <laughs> Good to meet you, Tom. Sick. Let me know if Paulie gives you the hard time. I'll straighten him out. Ralphie's in the garage. He's a special kind of idiot, but he's got a way with cars. I don't get how this moron gets in just to burn. But I'm telling you, it's like some kind of black magic. So he's an expert mechanic. That's pretty good. We definitely need that. Genius! <laughs> Get 
your head out of your ass. <laughs> the fuck, dear Papa Polly? You can't, 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 can't just sneak up on a guy like that. Uh, I'm sorry, Ralphie. I'm just busting your balls. <laughs> see, 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 you're still a limping. Guess we got two, 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 two cripples working here. <laughs> oh, he don't like mind. that joke. You got that, Ralph? Sh 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 sure, Papa Polly. Yeah. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. G good to meet you. Like I said, Ralphie here's a cracked egg. Well, you bring him a stolen car, he'll make it yours. Tom and me, we got a job to do. We need some wheels. How about this one, Papa Polly? It, it, it ain't a ha 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 ride, but it, it'll get you across the, the, the town. All right, let's go. So he has a You're stuttering done. problem. Probably has high anxiety, too. And don't let me catch you loafing off again. <laughs> One day I'm gonna cut your brake line, asshole. Damn. I don't know what Damn. Kind of giving us this motor. I want to show you something about the good life, and you're driving something my mom could have bought 20 years ago. If I know Ralph, he probably got it taken out of our yard. Yeah, that guy's fine. It's good to get a change from the cab. You don't have to be nice about it. Sticks a tin can. Car's so, a car, bro. Was that whiskey back there in the truck? Yep. New supplier. You guys deal in broad daylight? Normally, nah. This was their first drop off. And the cops know better than to come sniffing around our turf. Morello, the guy whose cars you got a torch, he's got more friends on the force than us. We're okay, so long as we're careful. Keep an eye over our shoulder. Some of the Canadian whiskey that comes through, you want a bottle? Just ask. We keep some back for friends. Ah, I'm no big drinker. I used Me to tip either. that bathtub gin most days, but... I'm such a lightweight, so honestly. Now. I could get no tipsy off of one bottle. You don't have to go blind now, though. I've been told I've, I'm a cheap stuff. date, so well, that's how much of a lightweight Thanks. I am. Not just the booze we supply, Tom. It's the places we deliver to. The dames they got in these places. There's tables, there's food, there's skirt. Some way to live. Right now, all I want to do is wreck the day of the bastards who wrecked mine. Same. Sure, sure. Besides, all this could get a guy in trouble. Trouble says the guy is about to send fire to Morello's parking lot. <laughs> the I irony, you to I know. Me. It'll go fine. Well, if it don't go fine, try not to let him see your face. Either that, or you hit him so hard they don't remember it. Good word of advice. I'll definitely keep that in mind. And honestly, the driving in this game, pretty funny. Now I know what it's like to cruise on by back in the old days. I'm not used to having any, any um, lights like how they have. The green light, red light, yellow lights. It's like, yeah, there are some signs, but you kind of have to figure out when it's your turn. So it makes sense as to why there were so much crashes back in the day. Did they even have any car insurance back in this time? I doubt that. Look at that little ass car. How cute. I just realized something. Are these taxis standing there? Come on, man. This, this is what I mean. I don't know. I, I know I'm already breaking a couple of walls, but I don't care. Come on. We're getting onto Morello's turf now. There's some kind of line between his streets and Celieri streets. Not really. There's always some give and some take. Though in general, we look after Little Italy, and his guys work North Park. And more besides. You're walking on the wrong sidewalk, in the wrong part of town, you start getting a sense you need to be someplace else. You can feel it long before they start appearing on street corners to stare you down. Good to know. I would be the one to, unfortunately, be in the wrong place at the wrong time. Damn, this place is pretty peaceful, I'm not gonna lie. 
Even though what we're about to do is okay, anything it's but close peaceful. By. Morello's goons smoke and jaw up front and leave their motors out back. They're some lazy bastards. They put some gorilla on guard duty, but it's always some no-name schmuck. Come on, over here. You gotta sneak in and wreck the cars. Send a message. Sure. Why are you coming with? To see if you get shot. Wow. He... Mm. Okay. Thanks for the support, okay. I guess. You know how to go quiet, right? Job, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, he's got his main guys. Go get there something. Sneak behind Polly. Oh my goodness. He sees our heads. No one tries to pop them. Okay. Good to know. Get over this gate and up onto their roof. I'll go keep their chump busy while you creep up and jump them from behind. Say no more. Let's go. Real good at distracting. It's the best thing. Cool. So I gotta climb there, right? Okay. I get the money. Ah, he's good for it. I'm surprised they didn't even see me. Take cover. Okay. Hey, what the hell are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? I mean what I say. What the hell are you doing back there? What? A guy who don't know what it is told me to keep looking out here. Enter the parking lot. Got it. Sneak. And Dino makes you cart the cars? Listen, fella, who are you? You know Dino? Bye. Nice. And I get to destroy the cars. Okay. So what do I do? Now let's get to these cars. Take yeah. The bat and start swinging. Hold L1. Oh. And swing. Oh. oh. Nice. Oh crap. What? What? Hey, oh no. You don't Back get to bitch, learn. bye. You got some kind of death wish? Damn. I did that? Come on, Tom, quick. There's gonna be more of them. Use them okay. all let's see some flame. Oh, say less. Hold. Uh-huh. Can I... Okay. I, I'm... Got so many fire bombs. I know. Love the smell of burning paintwork. Ah, uh, this sucks. Whole block heard that. <laughs> we gotta go. We can take Dino's car. How'd you know this is Dino's car? I don't like you, and you got a good car. I'm gonna know where you. Oh, this is nice. First of all, I'll take that. I'll drive that. Straight through the gate. We gotta get out of here before the Okay. Ooh. This is a nice car. Oh shit, the cops. They actually do smash you. Get, get the hell out of here. What do we do? We lose them by driving real fast and getting clear of them. Say less. Right now they're pissed. But let's not get him real pissed. Use minimap to avoid patrols. Got it. Honestly, we're way... I see a patrol right there, so... I'm gonna try and avoid them. It seems like the more you... evade them, the less likely they'll pursue. Kinda like GTA. Some street cops, sure. But Morello's got the chief in his pocket. Oh, of course he does. Why would I think any less? How'd it feel? Feel good? How'd what feel? Taking out the guy. Taking Dino's car. Feel good? Yeah. I guess it did. 
There's no time like the first time, Tom. Don't get better. You think it's for you? There's life? What's it to you? Hey, I'm just asking questions. I like asking questions. Because he wants I to know if day, it's you worth taking you in. Beat motors in parking lots. Eh. There's busy days, there's slow days. I've had more of an introduction than I ever got. You never got to beat up Dino's pals and take his motor? Nah, stole enough cars to get noticed, I guess. When I got squeezed by the cops, knew never to squeal. And one day I found myself in a yard behind a bar drawn with Vincenzo. Ten years go by and I'm still there. So, I got a suit now and Vinny's an old bastard. <laughs> I always thought that to be in a family you had to have more connections. Your brother or your uncle. Oh, some guys, sure. Your cousin got made or you like Carlos, pop went way back with the Don. That means you get trust in one when you're starting out. Oh There's shit. plenty of us who came in off the street. I am driving crazy, I'm so sorry. In front of the boss? Then we tip a few. Well, I don't got plans, so... Sure you don't got plans. Plans are to feed Vinny so much booze that Luigi has to roll him out the door again. I'm good with whatever. <laughs> sure you are. Okay, we're here. And I just love how the characters are interacting with each other while I drive. Definitely helps to make this game way more immersive. All right, I'm here. I broke how many laws, but I'm here. Nice. Well, what happened to the car I sent you out with? Dumped it. Well, why? It was a boiler. This one's better. Up of a better car with a, a broken window? Russia ain't never killed nobody. I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. My bad. I swear, one of these days, the mechanic is just going to wring out all of our necks. I have a good feeling he has, like, a hidden temper of some sort. He's still with you, then. Somehow. Yeah. Hey, boss. It's done. No trouble? Yeah, nothing we couldn't handle, Mr. Salieri. Good, good. Sit down. You see Morello? Nah. But he'll be plenty pissed when his boys tell him what happened. <laughs> He's not gonna be able to think straight for weeks. See? That's the difference between me and Morello. I'm a businessman. I do everything with this. Mm. Every decision I make, it's what's good for the business and my boys. But Morella is a hothead, and all that anger burns out the brain. And when he gets mad, he gets stupid. You got nothing like that to worry about with Tommy here. He was aces the whole way, boss. I'm glad to hear it. I got a growing business here. We could use a guy like you to help out around the bar. Maybe run some errands, make sure the bills get paid on time. You up for that? Oh, it'd be an honor, sir. Good. Good. Wow, he got the job. He Not got the job. Sam, nice. For you. But you need to understand we have a few rules around here, so you listen and listen good. First, no cursing on the premises. There's a million words out there. And the man who needs to resort to fuck this and fuck that is just ignorant or lazy. Second, we don't deal in the hard stuff. I don't want any dope fiends in this neighborhood. We'll let Morella poison his own people if that's what he wants. Finally, stay out of trouble with the cops. We only have a few on the payroll. And if you cross the line, the rest will come after you. You understand? Yes, Mr. Silly. Wow, a mob of morale. That's very interesting. And I'm going to only ask you for one more thing, Tommy. I don't keep Paulie and Sam around just because they're strong. A lot of guys out there bigger and tougher than these two. And I don't keep Frank on the payroll because he's smart. Though he is an artist with the numbers. All these guys in this room, they're here because they have the only thing that matters to me. The only thing that should matter to any of us. You know what that is, Tommy?
They're loyal. That's right. Now, you stay straight with me, you're gonna be living the high life, Tom. But you abuse my trust. And you're a dead man. Don Salieri, you won't ever need to worry about me. Okay, then. Wow, you won him over with that? Welcome to the family. Hey, familia. Look at that. Excellent. Now I'm starving. Luigi, let's eat. Welcome. Thank you, Frank. Appreciate you. A barman Luigi is not much of a cook. But his daughter, Sarah, Maron. Those first days in Celieri's bar were slow. I moved crates and delivered messages. The guys busted balls and told stories from the old country. Mostly, we just waited. I got to thinking, maybe life in Celieri's crew wasn't gonna get me clipped. Come on, <laughs> so I what did I know? You Damn, you what a backflip. Boss back. is waiting for you. <laughs> Thanks. Look at that. They're just practicing fighting, sparring. All right, let me see what the boss wants. Probably another delivery of a message or a shipment or something. There he is. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. Take a seat. That's collection day, boys. So, Tommy, you'll drive. Paulie and Sam can handle the rest. It'll be routine. Just a handful of stops today. Bill at the motel was a little short last month. So make sure he pays us the interest he owes. No problem, boss. Don't lay hands on anyone unless there's no other choice. Our clients need to understand that we provide a valuable service. They need to look at you and see Santa Michael. They need to believe you'll protect them. So let Morella stoop to breaking legs. Got it. We're better than that. But the bills still do, and everyone pays up. We can handle it. Go see Ralphie about a car. Okay, boss. Ah, oh, Vinny said to say he's got something for you, Tom. Head to him first. Okay. Tommy just wants to tell you some bullshit story about some guy he whacked 20 years ago. I mean, I'm all about the stories, so... And look at the jacket I'm wearing. And the fedora. And the pants. Oh, shit. I'm looking bougie today. Hey, just the guy. Hey. I what's saw up? this. And I thought of you. What? Need a, a gun? You ever carry a rat? Shot him at the fair a couple of times. <laughs> right. That don't count. Pointed at the target over there. Okay. So aim down here. Come on, we haven't got all day. Show me good posture, real mean. Not bang. Brain all up the walls. Okay? Now show me a real not at me, you moron. Sorry. Open the chamber and away you go. The load. Right. And then got practice. Needs to be hidden. Stick it in your belt. Oh. Good to go. And when shooting starts, get behind something and don't shit yourself. Thanks, I won't. Vincenzo. I appreciate it. Hey, the Frank and the boss, Vincenzo. To you. It's Finny. I'll take that, too. Ooh. It's a detective story. Thank you. I love it. All right, I'm ready. I did a practice shot with aiming, so I have a good feeling I might... Be careful. Okay. I spoke to Biff. He said Morello's still bent since he lost the cars. And that's Morello's problem, not mine. You, you, you know how to get, get into one of these, Tommy? Elbow goes through. Reach inside. Easy. And then afternoon to f f f fix the window back up. Watch. And... Oh, <gasps> yo! You're a regular magician, Ralphie. Mm. That's sick. He lick. He lock picked. 
The car. Come okay. On, Tommy. Show me what you can do. Yeah. If it takes time to pick a lock. Have a good day, fellas. You too, Ralphie. Bro, this is sick. Now I won't have to break any windows. All right, let's First go. We got out. He runs a bakery on Longman Street. You know it? Yeah, I know it. Al's late again? Seems so. <sighs> That's too bad. All right, first collection, right? Wait, shit. Where am I going? Oh, this way. Oof, my bad. I'm not used to... Okay, so let's go this way. Nice. I just realized something. The little signs near the roads, that's basically telling me where to turn and where to go exactly. So the navigation on this game is so simple and easy to follow. I love it. I feel like I can never get lost in this game. The music. Can we talk about the music again? This music is so nice. And also the cars. Why can't we have these cars in real life? I feel like these cars were a lot more durable long-lasting oh I gotta wait for the train how how would you feel if you were driving on the same road as these trains damn I'm just waiting my bad I forgot that this is the side to drive to for the car this is pretty cool now, the fact that the Don took him in so easily after doing one mission, but other people did vouch for him as well. So I can tell that the Don was pretty confident in his abilities to do okay, what's necessary. Watch what we do today, Tom. When it goes smooth, it's a breeze. When they put up a fight, sometimes you gotta think on your feet. Sure. Just follow my lead. Say no more. Yeah, because I know they don't want us to hit the people. Sam, Polly, how are you? We're good. How's little Julia? Ha, not so little now. She's turning into a pain in the ass, just like her grandma. <laughs> That's good to hear, Al. Real good. Now, you got any trouble around here? Any punks causing problems? No, no. Nothing like that. Good. So you got the money. I got it uh, waiting in the back room. I'll... Tommy will get it. You stay here where we can see you. It's been real slow this month, Sam. I was worried I wouldn't have enough. Al, I know you'd never hold out on us, but it's good you worry. I mean, how can we protect you and little Julia? So, I assume Where's you the have money? the money? Run, fetch It's on the table, brown envelope. I know she was just cursing at me, too. Wow, nice. This is cool. I'm curious what this is. Dear Mr. Borelli, this letter is notification that you are in default of your obligation to make payments on your agreed loan. This amount has been overdue since July 15, 1930. You have ignored requests to pay this debt. Unless the full amount is received within two weeks, I will have no choice but to instruct this bank to begin the foreclosure process in your home and business. Oh, that's messed up. Oh, that is horrible. That old lady is staring me down. Yeah, she's pissed off. She's cursing me out. I can tell. I don't even I know what she's saying See exactly, month, but... Let us know if you need anything. Anything at all. Sure will, Sam. Sure will. And give our best to your mom, huh? Bro, she was cursing me out the whole time. I can tell she hates us. Alright, time to go. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.